Hello everyone, I am Sita Priya from R&D Engineering College. In this lecture, we will be seeing about a reader writer's problem. So, in synchronization, we will be having four classical problems like bounded buffer problem, reader writer, dining philosopher, and barter shop problem. In this lecture, we will be particularly concentrating on reader and writer problem. So, the problem here or the constraint here is uh, you are going to be given the database. In the database, multiple users will be accessing the database. Some may be reading the data, some may be uh, updating the data or writing a new data. So, this is a problem here. If both are doing at the same time, I am going to update the data, but if someone is con uh, continuously reading the data, the data will not be synchronized between the reader and the writer. So, to frame a solution for this, we will be going with some semaphores. So first we will see what are the problems and what are the constraints to be followed here. So the constraint to be followed here is in a database, given database, if someone is reading, the other reader can enter the database. So in a database, I am already reading some data means some other user who are going to or who are requesting for read operation can be entering into the database for reading the operation. But at the same time, if someone is reading and a uh, user is requesting for a write operation, it should not be enabled. That means the writer should be put on in the wait queue. So this is the constraint. So for this, we will be having certain semaphores. So whatever may be the synchronization problem, each synchronization problem will be having certain semaphore as solution. So here in reader writers problem, there are two semaphores. One is mutex, the other one is wrt. So mutex is a general semaphore for all the synchronization problems. So mutex is nothing but uh, to ensure the mutual exclusion, you will be going for mutex operation, which is simply if you want to read a data or write the data in case of read, we won't be using here. In case of you want to increment a read count, a read count in sense, if a user is requesting for a read operation before entering into the database, the user has to increment the read count value. So read count value represents, it is an integer value. In the third point you can see, read count is nothing but an integer value which is going to uh, specify how many users are currently in read operation, how many readers are there inside the database. So this is the count which read count is going to maintain. So when a user requests for read operation before entering into the database, uh, they have to increment the read count value. So this read count value should be updated only one user at a time. So to make uh, to make this possible, you are going to get a lock for read count value. So mutex is simply uh, nothing but a mutual exclusion which is going to use for accuring and releasing the lock. If it is mutex means you are going to get a lock and signal means you will be releasing the lock. So the next semaphore is WRT. WRT is nothing but it is a semaphore which is going to uh, allow the user to do write operation. This is both common for reader and writer process here which is going to uh, enable you for write operation. But in reader operation the WRT works different and write operation the WRT works different. We will see in the algorithm in the next slide. So this is the solution for reader writer problem. The first is for write operation. So in write operation it is very simple. If a user is requesting for write operation, the only thing you are going to check is if there is any reader is there inside the uh, database. If no, you can directly go for the write operation. So here, if you are okay with writing, you are enabled or you are allowed for writing, the thing you are going to do is you are going to get a lock. Wait is nothing but you are going to acquire the lock for WRT. It means that you are going to go inside the critical section where no other user can enter for write operation. So once you got the lock, you are going to perform the write operation. Once you are done with, you are going to leave the critical section by using signal WRT. So wait is for acquiring the lock and signal is for releasing the lock. So now, Going for a reader operation, a reader process, it is much more uh, uh, lengthier than the write process. So here what we do is, the first thing you are going to do is, so consider the situation that a user is requesting for a read operation. The first thing you have to do is, once a user is requesting for read, 
the user has to increment the read count value as i said before they are going to increment the read count value but the thing is read count value should be updated by only one user at a time no other should list up the data so to, to make this possible you are going to get a lock for read count value so that is wait mute text so here you are in the, in the right process you are going to get a lock for write operation but here you are going to get a lock for a read count value wait in sense it is going to acute the lock acute the, here you are going to inside the mutual exclusion so once you did wait mute text you will be uh, get the lock for read count value so now you can increment the decre, uh, increment or decrement the read, uh, read count value and next process is if read count is 1 it means that at least one reader is there inside the database so in sense it means that the next thing is wait wrt so as i said before the wrt semaphore works different in writer operation and works differently in reader operation in case of writer operation if it is wait wrt you got the lock and you are enabled for writing the database writing inside the database that means you are enabled for writing but the same wrt semaphore works different in reader if it means w no, wait wrt it means that you are going to disable the writing operation no other writer can uh, get inside the database when a reader is there in, inside already so this is mean w wait wrt here the next thing is signal mute text it means that you are incremented the read count value and you are there inside you are going to read something and you are uh, disable the writing operation now you are going to release the lock for read count value it means that the upcoming reader can get inside the database in the constraint it means that in a database two or more readers can perform reading operation simultaneously but once only one particular reader is there inside the database also no write operation should be performed this is a constraint so one user came incremented the read count he is now reading the some uh, reading some data and now he can set the read count value free it means that signal mutex will release the lock for read count value it means that any other reader coming inside and he can increment the value and he can get inside the database the next thing is once the read reading performance is over the next thing is again you are going to get the lock for read count why because as you are entering inside the database you are going to increment the read count value when you are leaving the database you are going to decrement the read count value for example you are the first one to enter into the database so you will be incrementing the read count by 1 So you are inside the database now. The ne next user comes, so read count value will be incremented by two. So two data, two readers are there inside the database. Now one user want to left, he have to decrement the read count value by one, and then he have to leave. So now the read count value will be decremented by one. It means that only one reader is now currently reading the data. So for that, as I said before, read count should be modified only by only. one person at a time so you are going to get the lock for the read count you are going to decrement it and then once the read count equal to 0 it means that no reader is there inside the database you can signal the write operation signal wrt means now the writer can enter inside the database and then finally you are going to signal mutex means you are going to release the lock for read count value so this is how the reader and writer process solution using the semaphores thank you